Hi there. My name is Christy Davison, and I have actually been in the career I'm in right now for 23 years. I am a flight attendant with Southwest Airlines, uh, but the older I get, um, as I've started to pursue education through CWI, I have looked into different paths that I might want to go uh, pursue. I started out in this class thinking that I wanted to do something along the lines of drug recovery or alcohol recovery. And every single path that I followed led me to educating primary students uh, that were in grades K through six. So the careers that I chose to look into were number one, a substitute teacher, uh, number two, a teacher assistant, and three, a paraprofessional. I had the wonderful opportunity to interview two students, or excuse me, two teachers from the West Ada School District, uh, Christy Buxton and Susan Nugent. Christy Buxton has been a teacher for over 30 years, and she was actually the teacher to two of my three children. And so she really inspires me. Uh, when I would go to her class, I would see how organized she is, how much she loves the children, and just what a great learning environment it is for the kindergarten children. Uh, she said, Recently, COVID has been a big challenge, uh, but again, just seeing her love of what she does really inspires me. Susan Nugent, I have known for almost 20 years, and she actually started as a volunteer in a YMCA program that uh, intertwines special needs kids with the YMCA preschoolers. And even though she already had a bachelor's, uh, she did this while volunteering for her own children. And uh, then she became a substitute for West Ada. Uh, she pursued becoming a paraprofessional and then got her master's so that she could become a special education teacher. So through Susan, I see that no matter what age you are, you can still go for uh, any type of goal that you set forth because she has done everything that I have looked at and wanted to do for her career. Uh, so I ask myself, is this the right career path for me? I don't know. I I want to try to volunteer more. Unfortunately, COVID is making that a little difficult right now. Uh, but uh, again, I love being around little kids and I didn't have my first kid until I was 33. So I'm not going to have grandchildren anytime soon. So yes, I feed off of their energy. And that's part of the reason why I'm interested in it. Whether or not I will pursue it uh, depends on what happens with COVID and the airline industry. I think it would be in my best interest to go ahead and pursue it. So I do have a plan B. Um, and the personal goals and values that led me to this career choice, again, is they just came about through this class and seeing how much I gravitated towards uh, working with younger children. So with my future, how do I get there? I did find out uh, through all of our studying that I am already qualified to be all three. I can be a substitute teacher. You can do that with just a high school degree, a paraprofessional, they want some college, and a teacher's assistant, they want an associate. So I earned my first associates last December. So I do know that I have the credentials. It's just a matter of getting my feet wet. And as for where I see myself in five to 10 years, I hope it is in an elementary school class. Uh, I would really enjoy that and hope that somewhere that I can, it's obviously not about finances, teachers don't get paid much, but just something that I would really enjoy doing. Um, so my final reflection uh, for what kind of advice I would give to any of my fellow students, uh, it would be the same thing that I tell my own children, love what you do. Uh, that's very important, love what you do and you'll never work another day in your life. I absolutely love being a flight attendant. Um, I, to me, it's a vacation when I go to work. It's just a matter of I am getting older and it's getting a little bit harder to see up there and hear up there and things like that. But I will hold on to that as long as I can. But it's definitely important to love what you do. Um, and I also would offer the advice to explore different options, but do it sooner than later. I'm 50 years old and I'm just now saying, hey, maybe I wanna become a school teacher. 
So yeah, get a plan B earlier than that. And I need to take my own advice because my third uh, piece of advice is take a risk. And I know for me to get out there and actually sign up to become a substitute teacher just to start with before I go into teacher assistant or paralegal uh, will mean taking a risk. I am my own worst critic, so I just need to get out there. So um, good luck to everyone. And this has been a great experience. Thank you.